citizens of the Republic, welcome back to another reaction slash review. Today, we're back with the Bad Batch episode 10. Now, this week, we got dual episodes, episode 10, episode 11. In this episode, we're going to be watching episode 10. Really excited for this double episode premiere. Um, obviously, since it's two episodes, um, something's going to happen. I mean, it's. I yeah. feel like it's a given. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> and that puts me at the edge of my seat for these. And I know something bad is probably going to happen because it was hinted that um, Asajj said it was kind of easy to find the Bad Batch on yeah. Pabu. So I'm kind of worried the vampire is going to find them. Uh, and specifically Hemlock because that dude is turning into the new Thrawn, man. He is, he is an evil dude. Yeah, I mean... Obviously, we can tell from the from the trailers that they they the Empire gets to Pabu, and like you said, from what Ventress said in the last episode, I think it's almost a guarantee that Ventress is uh, is right, and the Empire makes it to Pabu within these two episodes. Um, and then just to just to say the names of these episodes. This one that we're about to watch is called Identi Identity Crisis. Hmm. And the other one is called Point of No Return. So, Oh, man. I, both of them, I am very... <laughs> I'm concerned. <laughs> Come on, man. No and it, it makes me think, because in, in the trailer when they were on Pabu, that uh, the assassin that we keep saying is tech <laughs> uh, w was there. So okay. maybe maybe we find out who that is within these two episodes. Because you got to think with a two episode, you know, something big is going to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that like. that is just my thought process there. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for something big. Yeah. Uh, so. But yeah, like Mark said, we'll have both episodes coming out. Uh, should both be out around the same time. So uh, right after you watch this one, watch the other one. And we'll 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 talk some after this one, but talk a lot after the second episode for sure. So stick around and let's go ahead and get right in this episode of the Bad Batch. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was ahead of it. Hey, come on, can we see the Rock, please, just once? Dude, yeah, we haven't seen the Rock on Pabu. What is this place? I don't know. Is that a Furby? I don't know. <laughs> Gift you. Hey, who threw that? It was him. The kid can barely lift the vase that big. Let alone he has the force. But he did. Oh, we saw it. Oh no, this guy's gonna get it. Of course. You little weasel. I've always hated the these this. These dudes, the dudes with the the ball sack mouth. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> they all they're all little weasels. Like they yeah, they were in the cantina in episode four, literally in the first Star Wars movie. <laughs> Is this where Cad Bane makes his appearance? Oh maybe. 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 Ooh. Oh. Okay. And we're back. He's looking at something. There he is, that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, this is the place where the assassin was. Oh yeah, yeah. Are the right. assassins up top and that's where oh. What's the issue? Well, let's begin by bringing you up to speed on Project Necromancer. Oh. Mm. So Emery's taking Nala Say's spot. Yeah. And thus must be handled with the utmost care. Oh my god. It's this the little force sensitive kids. Yeah. These particular three were selected because of their high M count. Hello. 
Hello. I like your glasses. Thank you. What is your name? Dr. Carr. Limit your personal interactions with the specimens. They uh. are scientific assets. Nothing more. Emery can't do that. Nah. Ooh. That dude's plotting. Mm. The music? The music right there? <laughs> oh my. Dude, Hemlock is just being more and more evil, dude. Just when you think he can't get more evil, he does. Alright, I I want one. Uh, Alright. I, I think it's adorable. <laughs> oh, this is the this is the part in the trailer where Cat Bane walks in the door. I, I literally uh, know it. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's spoiling it for me. They keep they showed too much, dude. They did. They did. They showed way too much. No, oh, you can hear. You can literally walking hear, you can hear him walking. Yeah. Out. I'm actually depressed already. <laughs> you weasel. But she said she'd find out for me. Find out what? When I'll be going home. Can you find out for me? I will look into it. Thank you, Dr. Carr. Dude, that like... Why is this episode gotta be like this, man? Oh my god. Hello, it's P32. No! Little dude tried. He did. Stay away from me! It's alright. I just wanna go home. That just done. Oh. Specimen attempted to escape. I was following protocol. Oh man. I don't even know what to say right now because This I'm... is not what I was expecting, I'm not gonna lie. This is I mean this is obviously just showing that no one can do this other than Hemlock. Like Yeah, that's true. Like, Emery is not even close to Hemlock's level of evil. Yes. He'll be fine. He's not going to be in trouble, is he? No, he's not in trouble. They're children. Like I was. Was your plan to discard them too? The Empire will keep them in order to control them. I had to protect. Omega. And what about the other children? I did what I could. Now they will look to you. I think you could tell within the first three episodes that Emery was like hesitant with stuff. Like she's nice to oh. Omega and everything. Yeah, for sure. Are we going to see Tarkin? I think so. Oh, Governor let's Tarkin. go. It is worth the expenditure. I'd better hope so. If this project fails to yield proper results, it won't bode well for your operation. Or for you, Doctor. I require an update. I've tracked down the drugged ocean and pulled some intel out of her. She gave up the name of a pirate who's been in contact with the target. I'm Feet. searching for her now. Yep. The other operatives... Are... In the Trandoshan was Sid. It was, yeah. I just, that just clicked in my head right there. Ooh, Corson. 
I wish we'd actually go on to Coruscant, not just this yeah. space station. <laughs> this specimen is younger than I expected. Then he'll be less trouble. I need to test him. Hmm. For confirmation. That was a cool transition. Yeah. Where is SP-32? Provide a standard operating procedure for a subject to be isolated for two rotations as punishment following an escape attempt. Oh, so he did get punished. Okay, yeah. She's mad. Because mm -hmm. she thinks Emery lied. We just wanted to go home. We all want to go home. Mark. <laughs> this shit is good. This is brutal. Bro. This is brutal. <laughs> My god, this is. <sighs> the music is so good, dude. Music is insane. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't they keep up uh, with the music, man. <laughs> Dude, Mark. Oh. Um, that was about the last thing I was expecting. I'm not even gonna lie. That was the last thing I was expecting. But that was like the that that, was, is, that dude. I'm not. That's like a top five bad batch episode. That is that was an insane. I would dude. That episode was insane. <laughs> like, that that actually was insane. <laughs> I dude. I I don't. Oh my god. This is like. Like I don't want to, I don't want to feel like I'm exaggerating, but I don't think I am. Like this season is like, um, like maybe like the best season a Star Wars show has had outside of like Andor or Mando season one or something like that. Like this is this is up there, I dude. I can't even disagree. I, I seriously can't disagree. I mean, <laughs> dude, every episode, dude, it's every episode. And they just get better. They just get better. I, and I, I don't think people would expect a show like Bad Batch to have an episode like this. Dude, I don't know if I'd expect any Star Wars to have an episode like this. Yeah, like this is like, brutal. This was, this was, dude, it was eerie the whole time. Like the music yeah. and just, dude. It was eerie. I did, like you were saying, I did not expect it at all. I didn't expect this, like, this sort of direction for for a, a show that started out the way that it did. Oh, yeah. This is, yeah, no. I think this is, like, like, the tone of the show, it has, like, its light moments, for sure, but it is, like close to the tone of of andor which is a, what a lot of people like it it has gotten the tone of it has has gotten closer and closer to andor as it is this is dark dude. And, and this season has really kicked it up like it's this season has really kicked it up a notch yeah oh my god the they they literally want you to cry Oh yeah, <laughs> they want you to be depressed. That's what they want. I was, dude. I was depressed five five <laughs> minutes into the episode, and then it just got worse and worse. So yeah, somehow it got worse. Somehow, and I, I like the, 
we, we kind of got a little bit of insight into like into Emery with w- her talking to Nala Say. Because mm-hmm. the way Emery was saying it was like the Kaminoans kind of just let her let her go <clears throat> and like the empire took her uh, uh, is what it is seeming like yeah yeah and you know nala say was saying like we had to do everything we could to protect omega because she is like the key in all of this mm-hmm. like w- like none of th- no one in mount tantus deserves to be there but Omega is the specific one that, under no Absolutely. circumstances, cannot be there. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm re- I'm ready to get into the next episode because I know. Now we're gonna see Pabu and and actually see the Bad Batch and what goes on there. But the only way my mood can get better is if I see the Rock. That's true. But I this episode to me. This episode is going to get overlooked by a lot of people because there's no, like, action or anything in it, really. Yeah. It's going to get overlooked. This is up there with The Outpost as, like, a top, oh. top-tier top episode. 100%. Like you said, it was top five. I, I think it's easily top five. I really yeah. do. The, this was amazing. It's like it's like The Outpost, Plan 99, maybe Camino Lost, if, if, if you want to say that. True. But this is like this is up there, dude. Uh all right. Well, that's uh the end of this video and we will uh be in the next video to watch episode eleven and hopefully I I can only imagine we're probably gonna get more depressed by something that happens. Who knows? Uh, all right. Definitely. Goodbye.